welcome to an episode of Scope where we're tinkering away at all things engineering. It's no wonder that creative thinking and perseverance are a big part of what makes a really good engineer. But now let's meet another engineer who's doing some testing and making a splash. From tinnies to huge cruise liners, hovercraft to speedboats, marine vessels come in endless shapes and sizes. And here in our tanks, we've tested them all. We have two testing tanks to assess a variety of vessels and structures that get built for maritime environments. That could be anything from catamarans to submarines, or even offshore structures like oil and gas rigs. We measure the way models move in the water and how they're impacted by external forces. By testing vessels here in model scale, we can get pretty good answers about ships in the real world. There's one thing ships can never escape in the open ocean, waves. Our test basin has a built-in wave maker to get conditions nice and choppy. 16 electrically driven paddles can be computer controlled to make a variety of different waves. They can create big rolling sets of waves of the same size or irregular waves that arrive at different times. That way we can simulate all kinds of sea states from coastal environments to open oceans. And we collect lots of data about the boat's motions using these. These reflective balls get tracked by eight motion capture cameras around the basin. They tell us exactly how the wave forces are moving the boat in three dimensions. Then we can scale this data up to predict how the same waves would impact a full scale boat. Sometimes we need to get our models up to cruising speed. Our towing tank is the only one of its kind in Australia. It's as long as a football field. We can control the ship's speed and take up six passengers on the platform above the model. The towing tank can replicate the type of conditions a container ship might face when crossing the open ocean. That way we can see how the waves impact the ship's speed and the engine power required to cruise efficiently. Tests like these help maritime engineers design vessels with the right power for the right job. We measure the wave forces acting on a model with a small black box called a load cell. This feeds us lots of data that we can use to work out the fuel consumption and engine loads on a real vessel. A fully laden oil tanker could weigh over 300,000 tonnes, so it's handy to know how much fuel you're going to need to push it along. All of the data we collect here helps real vessels stay ship shape. 